To a stone carver, this coarse block holds within it a new form waiting to be revealed. To the naked eye, it is solid, but to science, it is a swirling, seemingly chaotic mass of tightly woven energy. Both versions of reality are true, and both require highly trained minds, skilled hands, and the proper tools and workspace to bring their subjects to light. Whether the research seeks to unravel the origins of the universe, targets the internal structure of matter, or examines the genetics of disease, each subject will only reveal its true form to the quickest of minds with the sharpest of tools. In research facilities across Canada, and now in international centers around the globe, the Canada Foundation for Innovation is providing access to the world-class research space and equipment that is the nexus of innovation. A silent and persistent killer stalks sub-Saharan Africa. HIV AIDS is the leading cause of death here and the fourth deadliest disease worldwide. What if a vaccine could be found and new means developed to stop the spread of the disease? These are key objectives of a collaborative research program between Canada, Kenya, and several international partners. For over two decades, researchers at the universities of Manitoba and Nairobi have been trying to unlock the secrets of the world's deadliest infectious diseases. While the Canada-Kenya collaboration has as its central focus HIV AIDS, other virulent diseases will soon come under scrutiny at the Nairobi campus. Highly contagious viral agents such as hemorrhagic fevers and newly emerging pathogens will soon come under examination in new world-class facilities jointly housed in both Nairobi and at the University of Manitoba. Our research group at the University of Manitoba and the University of Nairobi was the first to describe resistance to HIV. And it appears that uh, this resistance is immunologically mediated, and we've done a lot of work uh, to characterize the uh, targets of the immune response, uh, the uh, genetics of, uh, that underlie this uh, phenomena of resistance. Uh, and we continue to be uh, at the forefront of uh, research in this field. This vacant piece of land on the grounds of Nairobi University will soon see the construction of two new laboratory buildings, effectively doubling the research environment. Lab technicians will work with blood samples in Nairobi in close concert with clinicians back in Canada. The research conducted at the Viral Immunology Lab has as its goal the development of an effective HIV vaccine, a prospect that is met with enthusiasm by those studying to join the ranks of future virology specialists. The collaboration between the University of Nairobi and the University of Manitoba has produced many leading researchers over the years. However, this need to train more researchers and put up modern facilities in developing countries where HIV AIDS is a big problem. Africa and the whole world need an effective vaccine to stop the spread of this virus. The Canada-Kenya Partnership in HIV Vaccine Research will provide a world-class educational environment, even as it breaks new ground in infectious disease research. The impact of this collaboration will be felt far outside the borders of both nations as work progresses to arrest the spread of HIV and AIDS among the peoples of Africa and the world. Just as artists need the studio space and the proper tools to complete their craft, 
so too do research scientists require the apparatus and facilities to enable their quest for new knowledge. The Canada Foundation for Innovation is very interested in ensuring that Canadians not only have the tools to do their own research, but in our programs to do with international work, we want to be sure that they have the opportunity for collaboration, and this will open many, many doors with other institutions and other parts of the world. By fully participating in large-scale collaborative research programs, Canadian researchers and their international partners continue to steadily reshape the raw materials of observation and theory into new worlds of understanding.